Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really, 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 really cute little tiny little bow. It's probably as big as half of my finger right here. Um, I have the one I need. Um, and this is this is like super easy. It only uses 12 bands and a hook. This is a charm. It's not really made to be attached to anything, but um, I kind of made it. <laughs> I made it so I would do that, so um, let's get started. I'm going to be using, whew, sorry, purple and blue. So, um, take your um, color you want. I want to do, I would do um, um, all of the same color at the first time, so you understand. I would show you, but I didn't have one. And you're going to just take a single rubber band, wrap it around four times. It looks the best when it's four times. Take two bands, leave all of these on here, sorry it's a little hard to get any other stages right now, then it gets super tight with four, okay, so there you go, there's your first one, now you're just going to do this three more times. We'll do the same exact step three actually just do this step one more time and I'll be back after I do Okay okay so finish so now I got two. So just take another double band pull and you're just gonna split it. Take two bands, pull them. It's okay if they move, as long as you can get your. Well, can you do this thing? Over your hook. And then put the other side back on. And it should look like this. So kind of just move this aside. And you're going to do that first step over again. In the single band, wrap it around four times. Take two bands. Um, oof, ouchie. Sorry, my nail is like so short that it hurts sometimes when I do certain things with it. Or try at least. So, just like that. So, and then do that step again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have these two, you could take another double band, and you're going to slide them off. So take double band. And I like to flip these upside down and pull them. So that one, and that one. Sorry, my hands aren't usually in the camera when I do, when I do these kind of looking things sometimes. Make sure that this one looks the same as this one. And if it doesn't, just kind of like pull them and move them around. So now, what you're going to do, make sure this one isn't too far off from the hook because it's going to put them together now. So both of these ends equal one end of your bow. So now, get a single band. And slide both of those on. And kind of make sure they go in order. So you're not pulling the other bands off. Uh oh. Okay, that's that was the other band. <laughs> so make sure you just get the one side off first and then. Over two. Now put this bow on your hook, and it should kind of look like a flower or like a butterfly without a head. <laughs> to take the back band over the top and pull tight, and kind of move it around. And the band is gonna get very loose. Make sure you tighten it pretty good. So there you go.
there's your bow charm. It almost looks like a dog bone. It actually could be a dog bone to do it. Oh, wait. So there you go. Here is your bow charm. And it could work as anything, really. But as you can see, um, it's probably the size of a quarter. I actually have a quarter next to me, so let's check it out. Yep, it's pretty much the size of a quarter. Um, if I put it on top, I'm not sure right now. So, the size, as you can probably see, they're a little bit showing. But, sure, it's about the size of a quarter, just maybe a little bit lighter. But yes, it's very little, but it's also very cute, especially if you attach it to stuff. And if you turn it this way, or right side up, it kind of looks like a K or an R with fancy edging. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe to my channel. And um, comment down below if you'd like me to do more videos or bows and stuff or any videos, really. Um, so yeah, thank you guys.